Hi there, Kay Sanders here. Now, uh, today I felt guided to do the short video because my guys actually have a message for you. Um, and if you've gone through some really tough times this year, or especially like these last few weeks and months, my guys really want me to talk to you about that it all had a purpose. And it, as funny as it might sound, because maybe you have gone through some really rough times, I know I have, but it's really, it it's all has uh, has a purpose. And the way my guys kind of shared that with me is that think of it as like you're, you're cleaning out your house or your closet. Let's say your closet is full of clothes that are like two, three, four sizes smaller than you. Let's say you have kids clothes in your closet, right? And you're an adult, you don't fit in there no more, right? So basically all that has been happening this year and I actually had a conversation with someone about it this morning because I, you know, they were saying that 2019 is the year of soul's abundance, right? And not a whole lot of people actually experienced this whole amazing abundance. It was a lot of abundance of challenges, of kind of like purging and those type of things, right? You know, difficult times, uh, trying to figure out what's, what's your next step and those, those type of things. But so basically my guides want me to share with you is that Think of it as really purging your home, you're your cleaning up your closet. Everything up until this point had a purpose of preparing you for what's about to come. Now, as you're evolving in your consciousness, in your personal growth, you can't carry with you what you've been carrying with you, right? Because it doesn't fit anymore. So think of it as that closet full of small clothes that simply don't fit you no more or maybe they're even out of style right but let's go with they don't fit you no more so you have to let them go even if you really want to hold on to them because they've been serving you for such a long time and you maybe you one day you might fit in again even though you're all grown but sometimes it's difficult to let go of it so it's really right now the energy is really in a way forcing us to let go of what is no longer serving us is it painful most likely, right? <laughs> uh, growth is usually not very pleasant. Sometimes we have to really step outside of our comfort zone, do certain things to really grow on a personal level. And that's like kind of like the theme for this year, at least for me. And it's also for a lot of people that I have come across and I've talked to was really a lot of changes, a lot of shifts, a lot of letting go. But like I said, my guys want me to let you know is that no matter how difficult things have been, no matter how good things have been, it all had a purpose. If you have been very resistant in letting go of certain things or surrendering and trusting, times may have been extremely challenging for you. Maybe your purpose, maybe you have been resisting your purpose. Maybe you have been ignoring that inner calling that you've been feeling. Now is a time for us to really be put on notice that, hey, it's time for us to step into our purpose, to step into that next level of life, of evolution, of what we are here to do. But the thing is, before we can do that, we've got to clean house. And that's really the theme that's been coming up is really that purging, that letting go, that cleaning out, that decluttering and looking at things if things are still serving you, right? And if they're not, usually there are certain circumstances that are putting you in a situation where you got to look a little closer, like, is this still serving me? Do I need to let this go? Is this still, you know, good for me? And you could make a choice. Uh, but the thing is, oftentimes when we're going against our purpose, if we're completely off track, uh, the universe ha kind of has a funny way of pushing us into the right direction, sometimes easier, sometimes not so easy, right? but it's really for our highest and greatest good. And like right now, it's really, I would like for you to kind of, kind of tune in and just think about these past, what we're already at the end of, um, end of July. So for the past seven months, look back and think about like, what has been the biggest, the theme of the year? What are some of the things that kept coming up for you? I know for me, it was, I had to keep fighting. Um, if you've been following me, if you've watched any of my previous videos, or if you know anything about me, it's like, I've been dealing with really bad pain since basically February, my back went out. I may have even some pulled muscles or whatnot. 
And I was kept fighting for the doctors to give me an MRI, to listen to me. They keep saying, it's your back, but I'm like, no, it's not. It's my muscles, right? I think I pulled something. It's my, you know, I kept telling them and they're not listening. And I kept fighting for that. And then some other things where it was like, oh, it's not fighting mode, right? So it was like one of the things that, that came up for me and it had a lesson, right? It had a purpose for really putting me in a situation where I had no other choice but to surrender, right? So you may want to tune in just for a moment right now and think about what has been your theme of the year. What are some things that kept coming up for you? And then allow yourself to think about like, what is the lesson here, right? What is the lesson here? Because it has a lesson. It, it, it has a gift. It, has, it happened for a reason, right? So for me, this time of not being able to do a whole lot of work, Yes, it affected my life, it affected my business, but it uh, gave me room to look at things. And right now, I'm going through a massive shift myself, and I've seen it with other people. They're rebranding and they're letting go of certain things in their business. I, for example, I'm kind of moving away from business side and going more into the success coaching. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm calling myself a transformational success coach as of a few days ago because I'm really focusing more on the deep inner coaching, deep inner release work, using light language and Akashic Records. And then also, of course, focusing a lot on the entrepreneurs helping them grow their business, but starting off with the internal stuff, because that's oftentimes what we need to work on the most. So this time of challenge often gives us a nudge into the direction that we're meant to go into. It allows us to re-look at things, and especially now with Mercury retrograde, it's really reassessing uh, what has been, what is no longer serving us no more, and those type of things. And it really gives you a uh, room to look at everything, right? And one thing I would like for you to know is that it's okay to let go of something. Even if you have been doing something for a very long time, if you're at a point right now, you're like, you know what? I don't think it's, it fits me no more. It doesn't sound good no more. It doesn't feel good no more, right? Kind of like thinking back about the clothes that, you know, if you're wearing clothes that are very tight, it just doesn't feel good, right? And then you have a choice. Do you want to let it go and maybe get yourself something different? Or do you want to continue being uncomfortable just because you've been wearing this one set of clothes for so long, right? You have a choice. And oftentimes when you make the decision that, you know what, I think it's time. I think it's time to readjust, tweak something, let go of something. When you make that shift, you know things are about to change. Like I know for me, I know things are about to change. And I've heard it also from other people. But like I said, the, the one message I really want to bring across here that is very, very important is that don't beat yourself up over of what has been, what hasn't worked out so well, for not being as far as you want to be, for, you know, whatever it is. And maybe you haven't even experienced any challenges, then, you know, I definitely applaud you. I mean, you're definitely amazing. Um, but, you know, if you have experienced challenges, right, um, if you've had people come into your life and where you question yourself or something like that, don't judge yourself. Let it really come through you. Let it really flow through you. Kind of look at it from a from a detached kind of perspective. Look at it like, okay, let's see what's 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 the message here? What's going on here? What is that deeper meaning? You know, how do I, how do I feel about this? And just kind of see what comes up. But really do it from a detached kind of point of view because it's happening for a reason. It's happening to your highest and greatest good. And if you allow yourself to just get into the flow instead of resisting things, amazing things will happen. So now I also would like to do a little light language activation for you. First of all, really letting go of what has been and what's no longer serving you no more and really activating you to welcoming that next level of whatever it is that you are here to do. So really that you're feeling a power to really step into this. And you know, now that I'm talking about it, I'm actually like, you no, know, most of my videos lately have been about letting go and allowing in and whatnot. And I really think that this has been the biggest theme of the year. And even whenever I was channeling, that's like the message I was getting is like, let go preparation, preparation for the longest time I heard this word preparation. And right now it really feels that we have come to that point in that turning point, even last 
last full moon during our during the energy transmission event that I uh, that I do with my colleague. Uh, it was also <laughs> the message I have received from the guides was that we are at a turning point, and it really the turning point is not just a one day thing and they're like everything shifts, but it's like the 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 the, the time that we're in right now. Things are shifting. I mean, right now, there's still a bunch of planets in, in, in retrograde. I think it's like six planets in retrograde. And then Mercury is about to go uh, forward again. So a lot has been going on, especially like July has been a really intense month as well. Even though like the first like week or so, I felt really amazing. And then things just kind of like crumbled. I'm like, what is going on? But um, we're really <clears throat> at this turning point right now. So um, I really feel guided to do this energy transmission real quick, this light language energy transmission to help you get to the point where you let go of the old, where that, you know, purging is not going to be as difficult no more, as painful, and I'm really helping you step into that next level, really feel empowered, excited, you know, ecstatic, like, oh my God, what's about to come, and really open your arms to allow it to come to you, okay? So... What you, what you might want to do is, if you can, sit down. You may want to close your eyes, take a deep, a few deep breaths, really center yourself. Pull yourself down into your body. Pull yourself down into your heart. Take another deep breath. And then open yourself up to receiving this energy transmission. Allow the energy to do whatever it's intended to do because it's to your highest and greatest good. And really just focus on, set your intention to... Allow yourself to let go and to step into your power. Okay. Shuma ane se eku uhu shu oha ane la karahati ni ku utu uha te la ane ya ka arai se ku ushno utu ha la ane ku uruma nusutu utu uru ulu ku umana ati ni kei sata ka uhu shu utu no ate ika aha ne ya. Lu urunu ku umana ati ni ka ara hati iku ushunu ane. Lai na ka ara ni ku unu ati ika a. Lu shunu ta ane ya ka a isnishi. Yunu us utu nuwa ka ate. La karaish ni ki iti ya ka a seya ka. Hunu mana ayesa ka a ha te iku ushutu. Lu numa ane ehe. Na ra hati iku unu a se ki. Nushunu ku. Nushu utu usu uku umana ka ahate, laka ara nuate iku umana ka ate, sutu utu ma ate, laishna ate iku urunu utu mania ka aha, late iku utu umaka atina ka, nara ate iku utua, nakarika ate iku ushna ku utua niki evening ka ase ishi ilaka, lukurua naka ate yake, uhu umana atina ate ihu shutu ua, laina aha. La ahena ate iku uwa ka amana a yisna aha. Sutu uhu shuku uwa a ne iku uruwa na a. Nala aha ne e u ushu uma a. Naka aha te iku uu ka a ate iki ihiki uwa. Nusuruana. Naka aha shinku iku ushma ate iki ishiya ka aha. Sutu ushu utu a ne ahe. La aha ashe ihi iya. Lu uruma naka ati iku ushu ku uha adiki ahai naka araha taa. Lu ku uma naka ati iku ushu ku u utu uku urua ka ati iki. Ha ane ku uma ka ahai na ase. Hu ushu utu uhu u. La ane iku uhu haina aka araha te ehe. La ane iki ihu ushu nuku uru ka ati iya. Na ta aha te ehe ka ane ku uru nuku ane naka. Nuku uru nuku utu wa ka ati iki ihi ka ahai naka araha ate. Sutu uma, sutu uma ka ati ki ihiki ya. Lu shu uwa ane ya ane ya ka araha nuwa aha. Su u shuwa aha la aha shia ka aina se e. Tu uma na ati ka ati ya la e la ishina e te. Sutu uma na ka ati la karaha ane ka aha ati e u u shuwa ka a. Na ma a ne, nuko ruku uma ka. Naka aha niku uhu shi ika, sa ate ehe, la anaka aha niku uru kuma ka ati ina ka hasi nashina ehe, sana ashe iku uhu ma, ha ati ka ahina hai se ki uhu shi wa, la ene ika aha te ehe ku uru ku uma ha, na ate ehe, la ate iku uru nuku umu na aneaka, sutu uwa ale ehe, sata uhu luku amane iku uru nuku uru wa aha, nashina ehe. Nasha ahi naka aha. 
sutu uruku uma ane ka unu ate la ati iku uruku uma ane ki ina sana ka araha ne ka aino ku u waka la aino ush na ate su ush wate iku uma na ate ya ku u waka na yuka asaha lu ara ane iku uma na ka ara aku uma aka na ehene oa ane ku u shiki iti ka ale ya onu waka a Surua anak ke aino semua ke rumah. Sua syia ke aino seiku umai na aleha. Sua ane iku umana a. Nurua ane ihi. Nurua ane aha. Wa ane ke aino wa seya na. Sua aine ke umana a seya ka. Take a deep breath. Now, this was actually a beautiful image that I just received where we all kind of came together and there was like light all around us, like a big bubble of light all around us, really consuming us, imbi like embodying us or surrounding us and really filling us up with that loving light. And we came together as a community, supporting each other, uplifting each other helping each other in whatever way, shape, and form that is to our highest and greatest good. Now also, one of the messages I was meant to give you is open your heart. Open your heart to allowing abundance, allowing yourself to receive without thinking about you have to give something back. And really just open yourself up to that beautiful light being that you are, to uncovering who you are, to stepping into your power, because you are amazing. You are divine. You're never alone. You always have the support that you need, even if you might not see it, even if it may look like you're all alone and you're kind of lost in the, in the woods in a way, right? But just know that open your heart and know that all that you want, all that you desire is just waiting for you to open up your arms, to open up your heart, to open yourself up to receiving all that your heart desires. Whew, okay, that was kind of coming through. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, now today is the new moon. It's, a, I think, like a black moon, super moon. And the energy today, it's been amazing. Uh, I mean, I had a bit of a difficult time earlier, but today it's been amazing. I've had amazing calls today, and just so many shifts are happening today. And I really hope you're going to tune into that. Maybe think about that theme that has been happening over the last, uh, basically, 2019. What's been coming up for you? What has been happening? And then ask yourself and truly be honest with yourself. Is this what you want to continue carrying with you? Is this what you continue want to experience? Or are you now at a point where you're finally able ready and willing to draw the line in the sand and say no more this is no longer me this is no longer what i want to experience and i'm gonna let that go and every day make that choice decide to let that go it's not you no more and see yourself in the picture that you truly are oftentimes we don't see how amazing we are and i'm telling you you are amazing you wouldn't be here doing what you're doing if you wouldn't be amazing. So uh, I'm going to tell you right now, you know, that's going to be a secret between you and me. You are amazing. <laughs> you know, and like I said, we often don't really realize, you know, how amazing we really are, how much of a purpose we have, how much um, of an impact we can really have. Right. So um, I would really like to invite you to step into your power, embrace all of who you are and get out there and make the difference that you're here to make. Don't think about, oh my God, what if people don't like me? What if I'm not good enough? Or what if I can't do this? Or any of that ch chitter chatter that usually is happening in the back of your mind. Just go out there and do it. We're really being prepared for what's to come next. And that next level kind of requires us to step into our power. To see the powerful being that we really are and to make shit happen. Okay, so I'm going to invite you now to make shit happen. Okay. <laughs>
allow yourself to do that. Now, I'm really honored that you're that you're tuning in, that you're listening. I mean, if you like what I shared with you, if you please leave a comment below. Let me know how you feel about this, and also like it. You know, sh you know, share it. You know, maybe even subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, I have other light language transmissions there. And I uh, just want to want you to know that I'm really honored that you have been, you know, tuning in, that you're here, that for doing what you're doing, because I'm pretty sure you are doing amazing things. Now, if you would like to reach out, if you would like to maybe have a conversation, you know, how can and to maybe to see if I can help you in stepping into your power or maybe helping you release some of your long, <laughs> long stuckness or whatnot and have an, a light language session, please reach out to me. I would love to help you. Uh, but like I said, you know, if you like it, comment below, leave a, leave a, put a, you know, little thumbs up or whatnot and share it. Let other people know about it. But you also would like to really hear what you're thinking about this and maybe any experience you've gained about, you know, whenever I was doing the light language transmission. But anyways, now it's enough time of me talking and stuff. So I'm really happy that you're here. I'm really happy that you're tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful new moon, super moon, black moon, or whatever you want to call that. And I hope that things are going to be really amazing for you and uh, that the light language was really helping you as well. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you soon.